seven is a nice one. It has to do with, oh, I just circled ten. Uh huh. Seven. And we're going to find the domain of this guy. Can you just look at that and say, hmm, how do I find the domain? What do you do? Well, you set x minus 1 greater than or equal to what? Because you can't take the square root of a negative number. Zero, right? So x will be greater than or equal to 1. My domain, then, will be x greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Now... Tricky. The range is tricky. This is what I want you to pay attention to. Sometimes the inverse won't be telling. I'll show you why. Uh, when we do the inverse of this, we're going to get x is equal to 3 root of y minus 1 minus 4. And we're solving for y. What are you going to do first? Tell me algebraically what you're going to do. Plus 4. x plus 4. Solving for y. What do I want to do next? Divide by 3, so you get x plus 4 divided by 3. Okay, then what are you going to do? I'd square both sides. And then all you have to do to solve for y, or the inverse, is x plus 4 squared minus 1. There is my inverse. Now, er, plus 1. Does it look like the domain of this is going to be helpful? What's the domain of this thing? All reals. That's not very helpful. So sometimes the inverse won't tell us what the range is. But let's do a, a little creativity here. Show me with your arms the square root of x. Elephant's trunk, kind of like this. Good. There's square root of x. Now, what is this telling you to do? To the right, 1. All right. And then what does times 3 do to it? Wakes it up a little bit. But then what does minus 4 do? Down 4. So when I label this, this will be 1. This will be negative 4. The coordinate is going to be 1, negative 4. Can you kind of see how this original function, f of x, can you see that the domain is x greater than or equal to 1? Really easily. Can you see that the range is going to be y greater than or equal to what? Perfect. So that's really the best way to do that domain and range. And we'll be very clear on a test of that. It won't help us here, though, will it? So... Find the domain, easy. Find the inverse, easy. May have to graph to get the other one. And that is problem number seven.